This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is a brief introduction to the ACE protocol training that is offered by VLSI Guru Institute. Uh, as you are aware, ACE protocol belongs to uh, AMBA family of protocols, which is advanced microcontroller bus architecture protocols. Uh, now you can say uh, ACE protocol is nothing but AXI plus hash coherency related features plus the barrier transactions plus the DVM transactions. You just summarize if you add the additional signals and the features required to support the cache coherency, the barrier and DVM transactions, what we get is the S protocol. So as part of this course, we will be first understanding uh, what exactly is cache coherency? As you are aware, there are two styles of cache coherency uh, approach. Mosi, Mo there are a cache can be assumed to be in four states, or cache can be assumed to be in five states. That is modified, owned, exclusive, shared, or invalid. Here, you don't have the exclusive state. Okay. Now, the ACE protocol uses MOE SI type of cache line modeling. So initially the course would start off with understanding of the basics of the ACE protocol. Uh, then we would talk in depth of what exactly is the MOAC state diagram. Uh, it, the, that, that itself will be for around one and a half to one hour, 40 minutes, where we talk about what exactly is the MOAC state diagram and how the transitions from one cash line state to other cash line state happen. Uh, it will also introduce you to the concept of what exactly is a cash. I mean, what is cash, uh, what is cash line and uh, and how that, uh, what is mean by different states, what exactly MOESI refers to and how those state transition happen, all those things we'll talk about. Uh, then we'll talk about what are the channel updates that have been done in the AS protocol. See, using the existing AXA channels, you cannot do anything. I mean, because AXA as it is doesn't support any cache coherency related aspects. AXA is only used for efficient write read transactions between a master and slave. Now, there are signals have been updated in the existing AXA channels. I mean, come if you talk about AXA, AXA existing channels have been updated. Channels are updated to support the ACE protocol requirements. I mean, to do uh, cash coherency transactions, uh, to do barrier transactions, to do DVM transactions, uh, the existing A AXA channels have been updated and the new channels have been added or added called as snoop related channels. These are snoop channels. What exactly is a snoop concept? What is a snoop transaction? What is a snoop master? All those things we will discuss as part of this training. Uh, the course also talks about a concept of uh, shareability domains, uh, the barrier transactions. What exactly is barriers? Uh, barrier transaction. These are trans these are the type of transaction used to ensure that uh, the specific instructions are completed before we initiate the next set of transactions. So for that purpose, we use the barriers from time to time. Then we'll also talk about di uh, distributed virtual memory tra basics transaction, which relates to uh, distributed virtual memory maintenance, like maintenance of the uh, page table invalidation, the page look aside buffer invalidations, and uh, the physical and virtual cache line uh, invalidations. All those things is what DVM talks about. Then we'll talk, we'll take each of the AS channels, the existing AXA channel updates and the new channels will talk deep into each of these AS signal descriptions. Then we'll talk about uh, different aspects like re read and write transaction type, shareable transaction types, then the transaction constraints, then we'll talk about read data channel signal. I mean, we'll be talking about individual channels and the new signals that have been added to each of the channel. And we'll be talking about the coherency transactions and how uh, the cash line states change with respect to different transactions. That is with respect to read transactions, with respect to clean and make transactions, with respect to write transactions. Then finally, we'll talk in depth of 
snoop transactions i mean there are you will see that there are almost 18 types of transactions that can be issued by a master uh, some are read transactions some are uh, clean transactions make transactions write transactions evict transactions these all transactions are targeted towards the cash maintenance and updating of the cash line states so we'll talk about all those things as part of the snoop transaction finally we'll be talking about the dvm transactions what exactly is the purpose of dvm transactions and how the distributed virtual memory maintenance happens by means of dvm transaction i believe it should be roughly around uh, uh, eight to ten hours course i mean uh, based on my understanding around eight to ten hours course which covers the in depth of uh, the ace protocol the course also has the supporting uh, presentation uh, which is around divided into two parts the initial part has around 40 plus slides and second part has around 171 slides and the participants also will get uh, to work on the assignments and the session notes will be provided whatever session notes i would have made during the training that notes also will be provided more importantly this would be the most important factor aspect which would cover all the important uh, Questions based on all the aspects of the ACE protocol will be covered as part of this assignments topic. Uh, overall, uh, anyone who is going to work into some complex SOCs, uh, I could say multi-core SOCs, multi-core process subsystem, ACE protocol would be a very good uh, starting point for them. And I would even go to the point of saying that ACE kind of protocols would be the uh, some of the very important protocol for any design and verification engineer because all the future uh, design implementation would, would definitely involve some kind of cache coherency cache maintenance and cache coherency uh, so ace is the basic protocol that anyone should know uh, for uh, for those who want to learn and gain expertise with respect to cache coherency i mean you talk about ace you talk about uh, uh, chai protocol or you talk about cxl protocol they all deal with respect to cash coherency. Major aspect of these all these protocols is the cash coherency. I mean, of course, I would say Chai is a, a little advanced version of the ACE. CXL is the same thing implemented by a different set of companies uh, in a different manner through different types of transaction formats. So, but once you know ACE, you can easily learn CXL kind of protocols. Okay, that is the importance of ACE protocol, even from a a job interview perspective it could be quite useful thank you so this is a brief about the ace protocol training